There continues to be a gender equality gap, especially regarding women working in science in South Africa. According to the 2022 Global Gender Gap Report, less than 13% of women choose to study STEM disciplines, with men accounting for around 28% at the moment. One PhD candidate is trying to change this narrative. Zagiti Mkize is doing her PhD in virology at the HIV uh, pathogenesis program at the University of KwaZulu Natal. She is using her YouTube channel to motivate and encourage inspiring young black people, especially black women, to get into, into science. She joins us this afternoon to unpack this a little bit further. Zagiti, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And perhaps start by giving us a sense of why it was so important for you to reiterate this conversation that we've been having of late, that more young black women need to be engaging in STEM disciplines and and getting into those careers that are really changing the way we live uh, based on the advancements that they uh, contribute to creating. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I think for me, actually being in the field and pursuing my PhD studies was when I really got to see, you know, the kind of dynamics that happen in the space. And really, this really highlighted the lack, you know, of gender diversity in the space. And that's, and that's when it became more important to me to motivate um, young people, especially young people that look like me, that, you know, hey, look, it's possible, you know, you can get a qualification, you can make Make changes in the field and I know that young people also have great ideas so really being in the space is what highlighted you know this major gender disparity that we see. Why do you think this is the case that uh, young women whether it be black or white are shall I say intimidated by the uh, discipline uh, or have just not seen themselves to be um, able to uh, uh, operate within the space why would you say that this is the case? Well, I think historically science subjects, you know, have always been seen to be difficult. And as women, you know, I don't like our biology as well may really set us back in terms of further, furthering our studies. You know, young women begin to get married. They start a family and really furthering your studies in this field is a huge commitment, a time commitment as well. So I really think that that's a major thing that has really stopped women or not been they've not been able to to really get further and further their studies to get into high managerial positions and um yeah it's just the historically that the people shy away from science subjects i think especially um women from previously disadvantaged backgrounds and it it just doesn't allow when you get your junior degree you get a job and you know the career progression is quite slow from then um in comparison if you study further yeah, and it's quite concerning because there have been other studies that have shown um, that women operate better in corporate or um, 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 environments like that, and so they would make a positive contribution. So with that, tell us a little bit about your YouTube channel and the messages that you are communicating to create that encouragement for uh, women to look at science and mathematics and the like uh, as viable career options for them. So, yeah, my YouTube channel is definitely all about encouraging young people, especially young people like myself. I share my journey. I think one of the biggest um, downfalls is I think that I had being in the space myself, you know, and now I've actually began to work in the industry is that I didn't know. I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't know that I could apply for funding. I didn't know that there were certain opportunities available to me. So that is what the YouTube channel does is just give people knowledge that they may not readily have available and also to inspire people that is also my main message is to putting by me putting myself out there I'm showing other young people who look like me that it's possible and I think you know it's very difficult for young people to dream of being a scientist or to dream of being a medical scientist when they don't see um, black women in the space so that's really putting myself out there that's what the channel is all about it's all about encouraging more motivating and inspiring young people to really pursue a career in any one of the STEM um, fields.
skills. Mm. You raise an important issue around access to information and gaining the knowledge base to learn about these fields and what you can achieve within them. What about the issue of infrastructure? Have you found that access to resources and infrastructure is also perhaps an inhibitor uh, for young girls from rural or township areas who would like to uh, explore these opportunities, but the infrastructure is just not there for them? Absolutely. Infrastructure, as you've mentioned, in, you know, schools that are previously disadvantaged is a major, major issue. You know, even having access to my channel uh, uh, might be difficult, you know, because they don't have Internet access. Having access to a science laboratory where they can actually see science is a major, major problem. And I think that's why a lot of young people, especially from disadvantaged backgrounds, they don't even think about science because it's not even something that's discussed in their schools. So really what my Black Girl Scientist NPO aims to do is to go into schools to talk about science, to get young people excited about science. And just by doing a simple experiment that doesn't need a science laboratory, a simple water and bicarbonate of soda, Coke and Mentos, which I'm sure we all know of, just for, for young people to see a reaction, to get excited and to want to know why that actually happens. I think infrastructure is a major, major problem, especially in previously disadvantaged schools. But how we can actually try and overcome that hurdle is just by talking about science. You know, having teachers who show kids science with simple experiments like water, like I was, I was saying, I think that will really just plant a seed that, hey, you know, there's this other world out there and you can learn more about it. You may not be able to learn more about it right now, you know, in the setting that you're at, but you can have opportunities, you know, to learn about it. Mm. As black girl scientists, uh, Zagiti, are you looking to create any meaningful um, partnerships with other stakeholders uh, that are like-minded so that the project that you've embarked on uh, can spread far and wide across the country? Absolutely, absolutely. That is a dream of mine, um, really to just get my feelers into every little young mind I possibly can, uh, especially previously disadvantaged, and really having, you know, stakeholders who be able to help me in any way that they can, you know, financially is a big one, and really being able to, to get out message out there, to get our feelers out there, to get young people excited about science, you know, excited about communication and, and AI. The world is moving, you know, in a, in a direction where we need scientists. So, yes, that's that's really a dream of mine. Mm. And then just a final thought from you. You are a PhD candidate and you are engaging uh, with various people, university level and otherwise. Are you confident that the level of educators that are being produced at the moment will be able to um, achieve this dream that you have for young black girls in the country? Or do you think that more can be done at a university level when it comes to the training of educators? Well, I think it's it's a bit of both for me, you know, having been a, a product of, you know, the, the education that I've received right now, I think that, you know, myself and people like me, we are going to be able to really, um, what I call change the face of science, you know, and for people to think when they think of science, to think of black people, but in terms of at a university level and, and even lower at the grassroots grassroots level, there's really a lot more that needs to be done. You know, I see the difference when I have mentored young people, you know, based on their background, where they've come from, people from previously dis disadvantaged backgrounds really struggle, as opposed to people who have been maybe more um, exposed to opportunities or more privileged. So in terms of grassroots, it's, it's, we still have a lot of work to do. University level, I think that we are able to produce really amazing people, uh, young leaders who are going to be able to change the face of science, who are really going to be able to change the world. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your optimism uh, in this particular uh, conversation and uh, people being encouraged to get into the sciences. Zagiti, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, that is Zagiti Mkize, and she's the founder of the NPO Black Girl Scientists, encouraging young black women to uh, go for the STEM uh, disciplines and explore the opportunities that are uh, within them.